All right, welcome to the pop culture street, girl. I mean, they be popping here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, let's start talking about the Spice Girls because one of the Spices are definitely not doing well. Okay, Melanie Brown, girl, she is getting dragged by her ex who is about to take her to, to court in a multi-million dollar lawsuit to clear his name and he is going after her for defamation and all kind of things they went through a horrible horrible divorce you know she back in the day she accused him of like like uh rape and and drugging and trafficking and like uh, uh, like it was bad it was bad you know until they finally got into like an agreement like at the end you know but it was a very horrible horrible uh uh divorce it really affect him as well you know and now he's coming back saying like oh you think you heard the last of me no baby boo you are gonna be paying because everything that you said was a lie i don't know i mean this and the way that he's playing this game it's kind of like shit do we need to believe him you know i'm gonna tell you why so i'm gonna read you this it says Stephen Velofant wants to take wants to take Mel B to court. The film producer Phil filed a bombshell five million defamation lawsuit against the Spice Girl member whose real name is Melanie Brown in a Florida court on Wednesday, claiming she engaged in a deliberate and wide ranging campaign to cause him severe em emotional distress and destroy his reputation. Belafonte who submitted the suit on what happens to be Brown's 49th birthday further alleged that his ex-wife began her long brewing harassment in 2017 with domestic violence claims which she dismissed before he had his day in court. Nevertheless, the damage has been done. As a result of Ms. Brown's false allegations of rape, illegal gun possession, sex trafficking, production of illegal pornography, domestic battery, and child endangerment, Mr. Belofan lost access to his home and children. Belofan notes in his lawsuit that the spies, a scary spies accusing him of being a monster and an abuser he has maintained primary custody of their 12-year-old daughter, Madison, since 2019. He further alleged that, that she has visited their child only once in the past four years, even though she has traveled to the United States for work. In the legal papers, uh, the producers include text messages purposely sent between Melanie Brown and her bandmate, Gary Halliwell, that show Brown's true intentions are to leverage her charitable appeal for further sales, celebrity, and opportunity. She says charity doesn't pay the bills. Brown allegedly wrote, to which Halliwell, Halliwell respond, I hope nobody ever hacks your text. I believe we should do something good and kicking off with a charity gig will be hugely positive. The power of our brand is enormous and all of our work is off the back of it, including Vicky, Victoria Beckham. Seemingly on face, Brown responds, why? My texts are fine to me anyway, so no need to worry. Like I said, charity doesn't pay the bills. Everyone's not take that. Despite Brown's private belief about philanthropy, Bella Font accuses his former spouse of enriching herself through her charity ambas ambassadorship at Women's Aid. He also claims in the documents that their marriage was marred by the former X-Factor George serious substance abuse problem which include the abuse of cocaine, alcohol, and prescription drugs. 
girl. I mean, he's putting everything out there. I mean, he's saying that she's a liar, a drug addict, a, a thief, a scammer, a bad parent, girl. Now, we're told that Belofan is not looking to settle and plans to split any earnings he wins from the lawsuit with an abuse program for women. Wow. Okay. Uh, in addition to the $5 million in compensatory damages, Belafon wants a trial by jury, punitive damages, and a gag order against Melanie Brown. This is insane. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. The fact that he wants to go to trial, that's the one thing that everyone always wants to avoid. You know, because you can really go down and lose on trial. You really need to have a strong case. That's why so many people, they decided to, how you say, like take a plea or like negotiate or whatever, you know, uh, and uh, to not go to trial. So that's why I'm saying like, should we somehow believe this from him? Because to go all the way to trial, that's insane, you know? Now, again, the accusations that Melanie did against him were very serious also. So this is going like head to head right there. I have no idea what is going to happen, guys. This looks insane. So let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below. Now, let's talk about uh, the Princess of Pop, Miss Britney Spears, because she was on Las Vegas with none other than her brother. Mm -hmm. And they were going to a spa after she uh, posted something about wanting to maybe forgive her family. She says something that she doesn't want to live with hate in her heart, and it will be very hard given the amount of trauma that she has been going through, but this is something that she is really considering, you know, and the next thing that we saw was this series of videos of her walking on, uh, uh, on Las Vegas, you know, uh, with her brother. Um, of course, there is always the haters out there trying to make it something because the way that Britney was talking and the way that Britney was looking on, you know, the video or whatever, right? But the thing is, like, from all of her family, her brother is the one person that she has actually always been close to, you know? And even after, you know, uh, the divorce from Sam Asgardia and all of that, her brother was, like, the person who was always right there for her, you know? So I think her brother is a very like positive person that she wants to like have around. Now, when it goes all the way to forgive, you know, her parents and Jamie Lee Pierce and all of that, that's going to take a lot. Now, we don't know if, if it's going to happen, but at least she's talking about it. You know, I think like I always said, when it comes to Brittany, I just want her to do whatever she feels is right. And I want her to do, you know, the right thing for her. For the first time ever in her life, she really needs to think about her. And if forgiving her family is going to make her happy and in peace, in peace, that's what she needs to do. But if it's not, then fuck it. Don't do it. You know what I mean? Um, so let's wait and see. Yeah, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about that one. Now. Let's talk very quickly about Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny because, you know, they were an item, then they were not, you know, then there has been all of these rumors that they're back together. Uh, we have no idea, right? But they were just saw in Miami, both of them leaving a restaurant after a date and sparking all of these rumors again that they are back together. I mean, this is insane, given that, you know, uh, I think by Bad, Bad Bunny, you know, is one of the biggest reggaeton singers, like, in the world. And his relationship with Kendall Jenner really took a toll on him, uh, because Kendall is not really liked in a lot of, like, Latino communities, you know? Um, but, you know... If, she, if he's coming back with her, it's because there, there's definitely something going on, you know? 
Now, there are other sources saying like they are no longer like in a romantic relationship, that they're just being friends right now, you know, and that's the way that they want to like keep it. Uh, I don't know, girl. I think that, I don't know how to feel about this one. I, I, I don't have a problem with Bad Bunny dating Kendall Jenner at all. You know, um, I'm not one of those who I have seen some videos of some people being like, oh, Bad Bunny betrayers. Like he was supposed to be with a Latina as well. I'm like, girl, you know, I think that's dumb. You know, you fell in love for, of whoever you fell in love with, you know? So like that cannot be a reason, you know, now. The fact that it really took a, a, a toll on, you know, his sales, you know, and his brand, that's a little bit different. But also, like, if this end up being real love, like, let them do whatever they want to do. You know, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, Kendall is looking very happy, and he also looks very happy. So, like, why, why that will be a problem, right? But who knows? Who knows what is going to happen in there? Just rumors and rumors going around, but they are now seen back together. So, uh, well, on a date together, you know? So let me know what you guys think on the comments below about that specific piece right there. All right, guys. So that's it from the pop culture streets. But don't go anywhere because now it is time for the juiciest part of the show. And those are my breaking news. 